Hey, welcome back to another episode of World War Selection. In today's battle, we got the Zen in the red, in the left side of this map versus Gvet. Gvet. I forgot how to say his name again. Gvet. Was it Gvet? Yeah, I think so. Or was it a silent wet? Anyway, getting a bit delusional there. Right, quite a close map. So it might be a quick game. We've got some fishes around, guarded by alligators, some cows. The back here would be nice. Only an alligator there, so you could probably drag that away. You've got that little fish there as well. So not too bad, not too bad. And you've got, obviously got the cows in the middle here. Somebody might want to go for them as well. Uh, we've got Zen over here deciding to build his wall on the left side in the back for some reason. Whereas Gret is actually building it appropriately in the front to start blocking things off. Now, do you do have this other island here? They do have a iron as well. Plenty of wood, plenty of resources. And even an option to go to this island for extra resources if they ever need to. But I really don't think it's going to get that far. They're too close for a game to go on too long. And we already see Zen. Zen, Zen. Sending some workers. For the cows possibly. No. Can't build any pits behind there, not enough room. Possibly, yep, going to put his temple there instead. Wants to build them pits in front. But here we go, we've got some. We have a bulwark rush on the way. Spamming the bulwarks now. How is Gvet is going to react to this? Sending approximately about eight workers. Now more than 17 workers. Oh, he's left nothing on wood. Uh, lost two, lost three. And he did manage to kill all the workers, so this attack will end. More workers coming, though. It's not over. How many do you have left in the end there? Okay, it was, that was a good defend. That was a good defend. That was not too bad. But this guy, the Zen, does not want to give up. He wants to come back again. Just carry on doing the bulwark rushes. If you don't succeed, try, try again. No, at first, if you don't succeed, try, try again. That, that's the correct term. Oh, nice spot there. Fish and some trees, nice. Some long distance mining there. Not nice, but it is what it is. Getting some warriors out, which will be able to deal with these bulwarks, no problem. How's the eco looking there? Is that 44, 45? Not too bad. Nearly got enough to build the temple, but he wants to get those huts up and running so he can build as many warriors as he can. Because these bulwarks are multiplying. But then he's going to run out of food soon. He didn't even bother getting any food. Didn't get any about food. I think this is a not a very thought out. You, you see it on YouTube and you want to try it out kind of strategy here. You have to have a game plan afterwards. Although he's taking out some of the hearts. But oh, that's just wood. Wood wood is free basically. There's plenty of trees to get wood. It looks like he's taken away the food. I mean, he should be getting the food here. Didn't even go over here. Could have got over here. But well, that's okay. Where is it? Did he? Where is his warriors gone? Did he try to already attack? And it failed, yep, these are all damaged, so he did try and attack, which did not quite work. Mm-hmm. 
Sending some more workers over there to get the food. I should have said all of these to get the food. Found the one at the back here, but that's going to be some long distance mining. But I think it's alright for the time being. Why are you? Okay, they're well done. I thought he was going to upgrade that warehouse. And he's building more bulwarks. He's building more. But I think Gwen knows exactly what to do now. He's going to be patient, relax. He should be able to deal with this using the warriors to take out alligators so you can get this huge amount of fishes here now. Doesn't need too much on wood. That's plenty. Just needs to get them houses up and running and get that supply up. Now he has a choice. He can either deal with these bulwarks or go straight for this temple. There's nothing guard in it. But he's going to go for the safety route. He's going to take out the bulwarks. Because ideally with an attack like this you would have had defences at home as well. A whole mass of slingers etc. But that's not the case. That's not the case. And I think he's pretty comfortable. And that should be a GG anytime soon. A nice and quick short game. For a lunch break, if you need to watch some wall selection in your lunch break, to find out what, how not to bulwark rush, and how to deal with a not so great bulwark rush, straight for the temple, straight for the workers. Why not build some towers as well, just to make sure? And that would be a JJ. Oh, come on. Just tapped out. That could have been a good timing for what I just said. There we go. That would be a JJ. I hope you learned something. Until next time, goodbye.